More and more cities in developed countries have demonstrated success in reducing mercury and treated wastewater with amalgam separators in dental offices, because amalgam separators can reduce the amount of mercury discharge in waste. In fact, the US CPA has utilized measures in the Clean Water Act to develop standards for dental clinics to reduce mercury releases by mandatory use of amalgam separators. These standards went into effect in July 2017, and the EPA expects it will reduce the discharge of metals to publicly owned treatment works by at least 10.2 tons per year, about half of which. Even though standards are required, it would be helpful to enforce maintenance requirements for amalgam separators. It should also be remembered that amalgam separators only contribute to reducing dental mercury in wastewater, and not the additional burdens on the environment. Which separator is right for you? Consider the size of your practice and how many chairs will be removing amalgam at a time. Think about how often it will need to be changed and what the exposure risk will be when it needs to be changed. It is highly recommended that you research amalgam separators for their efficiency. When researching amalgam separators, remember that there are different ways of reporting efficiency. A great resource is the State of New Jersey's Amalgam Separator Recycling page at www.nj.gov slash DEP slash DWG slash amalgam separators .htm. Another great source is the IAOMT Scientific Review for Best Management Practices for Mercury and Mercury Amalgam Separation from Dental Office Wastewater by Nestor Shopka which is provided in the resources and references section of this online learning activity.